every time you're trying to do something and give people information. Okay. I think I sent him the invite. Okay, hey, I sent you another invite. We couldn't hear you. It just went out. So I sent you an invite. Yep, so I sent you an invite. Just um, just see if you can accept it again. Just accept it like you did last time. All right, there you go. Yeah, you, you, uh, we couldn't hear you. It happened. Oh. oh, man. I was going in, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it like this. I was like, we can't hear you. <laughs> but I still posted what you had talked about so far. So just, just pick okay. up where you left off at. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where I stopped at. So you was talking about when you had, had um, when Dana was pregnant with I Am, how you know everything kind of evolved to you starting, you know yeah, your yeah, entrepreneurship. Yeah. Oh, Vanessa said he was going in too loud. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, when she was when she was pregnant with him, um, um, and like I just really started to um, contemplate like what I wanted to do and what my purpose was at the time, you know. And, and I knew that I wasn't born here just to I wasn't born here to just to you know live make money and die you know like what right, kind of right. are you gonna have when you uh come into this life or doing this life and something that's meaningful and i was like i'm just making money right now I and mean, my kids are gonna be growing up and i'm not gonna be there so and i didn't want to go work for anybody else so like that was just kind of out of the question i wasn't gonna kind of slip well i ain't gonna say take trading one slave on, on for another but you know so to that matter was my mindset at the time okay Right, um, right, and, uh, and uh, so like that—that that was just the non-option. So I said, I got to figure, I got to do something, and um, I, I really just started making T-shirts first because I, yeah. I wanted to express and it myself. Just took off. Yeah, yeah, it was a thought. I started making T-shirts because I was really into the point where I didn't want to wear anybody else's stuff. Like, I, like, why am I, I yes. wearing all these other millionaires and they don't know me? They don't care about my community. They don't do anything. It, so exactly. Started, I just started wearing black and white shirts for the longest for like probably a good year and a half, you know? And, right. uh, and then at that point, you know, like it was like, well, I'm just going to do my own thing, make my own brand. And like, that's when positive one, um, like I was kind of dealing in that and I was, I'll just make that a brand too. Cause you know, I want yeah. to make it like it's a, I want to be a mogul with it. You know, like I want to build my own empire of things that I like to do so I can make money for those things. And you're on your way because um, yeah. I was going to, I had been instructed to tell you one of the young girls, um, Melissa daughter, she, she didn't want to come to the fashion show because you wasn't going to Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> when she found out, because um, Melissa said, is um, Lee coming? I said, no. I said, this is all you got right here. I said, I'm, you know, representing this brand today. And her daughter was like, she didn't, she didn't want to model because you wasn't going to be there. So oh, then again, you're making an impact even on the little ones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that speaks volume, you know, yeah. that they already at a young age already know how yeah. to be positive because yeah. of the brand that you're setting before them. Yeah. And so with with that, how do you generate new ideas? How do you come up with these ideas of creating shirts and all this stuff? But I mean, I, I just, like like I said, being a human paintbrush, you just flow, you know, like like once you focus on something, it expands no matter mm -hmm. what that is. And when you're able to uh when you're able to to um to allow your your brain to go past limits that that are set there that are not really real, you're able to uh, open up a new part of yourself every single time. And like you know, it it takes a while to think though. You know, you have this is a yes. process to do this. This is not something that you can just okay, I'm gonna do this now. You got to be committed to this. You have to be it. And, and and once you are it, then then you're you're of it, and it, it just comes to you. You know, you don't have to do anything. I just I, like I said, I just, everything that I want to do, um, like with clothing, with anything that I do, I want it 
to 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 speak have the same intention of, of truth you know and have and vibrate that truth so that's what i really um i really engage myself in those things and when i do that and i think of something then you know the idea come that's part of kind of being a creative it's not something that is special um everyone has that special so it's really normal mm -hmm. but we just don't tap into it like we should exactly. tap into that and um that's what my message is to try to inspire people to be able to understand those like three core values of your self-worth self-awareness and self-confidence those three things yes. make you a whole person and then you'll be able to do things that you couldn't imagine you'd be able to do by just and that's, that's like me like you know how i am i stay in i stay in what's familiar you know yeah. i don't put myself out there but yeah. i'm like it started with you know even with you know me doing the jury you know when jt was like you can go live i'm like i can't go live but i can go live for my organization because yeah. this is something that i'm passionate about mm -hmm. so i can do that but when he starts saying you can do this on the live with the jury i was like no because yeah. now I have to step outside my box and yeah. get in front of people and show this jury yeah. when that was unfamiliar. But I'm thankful at the same time that I'm able to step outside my box because this right here is not me. But I had to believe in what I believe and yeah. I had the truth that God gave it to me. So he was going to see me through it. And I'm so grateful that I did, you know, because yeah. I, this platform is to showcase people and let people know there are still good people in the world. Mm -hmm. There is still good, you know, because we don't see anything but the negative, you know, yeah. and your brain speaks for itself. And just like, you know, when I, um, at the end, when everybody wore their clothes, you know, they gave me the mic. And so before they gave me the mic, I was like, I was looking through my phone. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to write down for this. I mean, I, I had to, but you know, I was like, you know what? I I said, you know, I told them where you live. You know, yeah. I said about the website. But one thing that I told them, I said, he believes if you think positive, you can live positive and you can just grow into whatever. And that was the only thing that I could come up with because yeah. I was like, it's not going to do me any good to read this whole bio. But I do yeah. know one thing for sure is that his brand is about living, thinking and living, yeah. being positive, yeah. you yeah. know, regardless of what we do. You yeah. know, it's yeah. so I was like. Oh boy, and I was trying to write. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. That. But and it was so amazing. And like the one picture I sent you of the guy that had the yeah. king shirt on. Yeah. He was autistic. And I'm telling okay. you, when he put that shirt on, me and Lanita, he was just like, Yeah, I'm the king. He was like, I'm the king. And we was like, you feeling it? He was like, Yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm yeah. feeling this. And I was like, wow. Even when a person is different from us. Yeah. they still get it and you know and for him to be like yeah he walked around with that shirt on he was like mm -hmm. i said well you can keep the shirt he was like yeah. what he was like yeah. I, can, I can keep the shirt i was like yeah i was like the designer you know that's how he do i was like he give you the shirt he was like yes he's like i'm the king and it was so <laughs> it was so rewarding because that simple thing yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. that we take for granted but yeah. just because he had King on there. Yeah. And he yeah. felt it. Yeah, I mean, he every, felt it. everything that we do um, with our intentions vibrate the energy that we put out on it. So when, when um, that's, and that's what type of love that I do things with, because, you know, hearing stuff like that just, you know, makes me warm inside just because of yeah. the fact that, yeah. you know, we're all human beings and we all, we're all spirits, really. You know, we're yeah. just walking around in these avatars called bodies. And that's in my in my opinion, you know, somebody can dis disagree with that, but you know, fine too. <laughs> I mean, but like, you know, I think that um we have a powerful soul and spirit and, and, and I I just believe in being able to connect without having to without even having to know, you know, like that that my, the intentions of putting King on there is the exact intentions when he put he used to explain it. That's the exact intentions of wh whenever I make any shirt, you know, so Cause I make each and every one of my clothing, you know? So like, like everything. And I like it that way because that is what I put into it. Cause I actually enjoy doing it. So. And um, you can tell because the kids, they, you know, they, they love it because, you know, like I said, like Melissa's daughter, because you have made an impact on them because when you do shows, 
you get involved with the kids, you know, especially, you know, you get involved with the adult, but the kids, they just seem to gravitate towards you because of your energy, like little Mackenzie, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, it's also when we can touch kids' lives and they see us, you know, not all the way up here, but they just see us as somebody they can reach out and touch. Yep. You know, instead of be like, you know, standoffish, you don't want to have a part of it. You know, you just yep. here to do the show, and after the show, you just gone. But when you connect with them, yep. then you build in something. Yeah, and you know what helped me with that too is really my wife, um, watching her, uh, how because she was she used to be a first grade teacher, now she's a um, academic facilitator. I think I said that right. <laughs> I keep, I keep, I don't know, but I think I got that right. But, um, like, um, she, like, really has a way with children and identifying yes. with them and, and seeing them as people and mm -hmm. being able to actually watching her, like, understanding, yes. like, you know, they're just little people, you know, like, they just, they're there to be fed into, like, they don't know the things that you know. They, nope. anything that you do is going to impact them greatly. Mm -hmm. So, like, understanding that and understanding like why wouldn't you want to be somebody's superstar you know what i'm saying like it's like being a dad like i get to be a dad in every kind of way so like i do things that interact with my kids because like everything that i do they're gonna be like my daddy did this and my daddy did that and i'm like yeah and i like hearing that yeah. <laughs> and speaking of that how i i mean and i mean lanetta was talking about it today you are so active with your children and i love it i love the pancakes i love the pancake day yeah. i love it because i see them how they've grown from yeah. when they were little sitting on the counter to yeah. now like here they are they can really get in their own groove yeah. and just for you to trust them and teach them how to be at the stove and do their own pancakes and giving them that sense sense of freedom to yeah. know i can do this so how did the pancake zone pancake day come about what all right, so pancake day came because one, my grandma, she always made pancakes at home, and she used to make pancakes for the whole community. She, I mean, like literally, like all the time. Like we had pancakes all the time. I love pancakes, so like it was, it was. I never really actually helped her that much because my grandma was just kind of like my mom's side. She was just kind of like do it, and that's what she liked to do. Right. But, like I always, you know, like made pancakes. So then, you know, I think I saw it was something easy to be able to um, bond with on a consistent basis with my kids so they would have a memory of childhood. Right, right. And it's, it's, you know, a lot of things happen in childhood, but like if they have this fond memory where they've done this type of deal, you know, they can look back and say, you know, and see love there and connect in that space. Yes. So um, that was something that I just wanted to create. And we have like a whole bunch of different things we do like that, that don't, obviously not on Facebook and stuff, but like, that was just something that kind of took off to where, you know, we just kept doing like Pancake Day and then we kind of be out and people like, Pancake Day? And then my kids like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, it, it's awesome. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. Now you got a TikTok doing the Pancake yeah. I was like, it's, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's the song, The song came about because, um, like, you know, I do music and everything and like Alina and I am, they like see me doing music or listening to music and stuff. And they were like, we want to do a song. We want to do a song. We want to do a song. I said, all right. Okay. So, like, we sat down. And then, like you said, and this is another bonding moment. It just creates more and more bonding moments. So, we just sit down. Mm -hmm. like, what do you want to do? And, like, it's not me. I'm not going to come up with it, you know, because I want to force them to think. Right, and, uh, right. And uh, so, like, they came up with, you know, I helped them, encouraged them a little. You know, just what parents do. It, and, it, like, they came up with all the words and all the lyrics and all the lines every time. I just set up the format for them and they could do and like just being able to allow them to succeed you know exactly. at something and then show the finished product and now they see what they created the whole process of that yes. like, and they and it's like anything like your fashion shows you do right they yeah. might not get it now but they'll get but, it yes. when they need it you know right. you, like because you learn right. so many intangible skills by uh, doing those things, like my daughter, when I when she got went to the kids' fast show that you having again, right? Second one, right? Like she did, yeah. um, she um, that was her first time on on stage in front of people, my son, and like they had to overcome, they had to conquer fear at that point. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, and and those are the types of experiences that I like to have with my kids, where like they're in a loving environment and they're able exactly. to achieve exactly. goals, to gain confidence, to be able to 
get a sense of self-worth and, and self of who they are and know that they can do things if they just try. And we, I mean, and just like, you know, we don't see, like, you know, like I did preschool for 14 years yeah. and like, they are just, like you said, they're human paintbrushes. They're, yeah. they're seeing us, they're mocking us. Yeah. And when you can see how you are changing their lives, even yeah. not even knowing that you're changing their lives, just like I'm in high school now. Yeah. And some of the kids that I had in preschool, they're getting ready to graduate. Yeah. They're, do they're doing amazing things. Yeah. But how, um, you started doing yoga. Yeah. Yeah, I did. So how yeah. has that changed? How 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 has that helped you in the sense of like releasing, you know, your mind, body, so you know. Yeah, um, like it really just it helped me connect even more in everything that I do. Like I said, it's life you life is an evolution, you know. So I really believe that and that, you know, certain t things come into your time to open up different spaces of your life because we have infinite infinite perspective infinite visions infinite everything and like to just right. think that you know that our bodies are you know are, are, don't can't be maintenance through all types of ways would be insane so i kind of did my re research on that and um and oh well first actually i did reiki first i, I got reiki i'm a reiki uh, uh one certified i don't know what that means but you know i do know what it means but i don't like <laughs> practice on people except for my wife, you know, but like, right. like, um, but like that really brought me into like all the chakras and healing and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you know, like I'm strong and everything externally, you know, but like, I'm not strong, like internally with like core as far as like right. opening, opening, like, you know, doing splits. I can't do split or anything, but there's flexibility and stuff like that. So right. I wanted to explore the internal strength and not just external strength, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So that's what really drove me to that. And then, and that became an experience. And I guess that's why they call it yoga practice because I've been doing it for like four years. And then. now the kids are doing it. They, they yeah. have their own little um, yeah. battle, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they come in, like, like I said, they'll come in because they'll see me doing it or me and Dana doing it in the morning time. Cause we, that's when we usually do it in the morning time. So they wake up, like they've been waking up to us doing yoga for like three or four years now, you know? So wow. like, it's not like a, it's not like it's a, uh, 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 it's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even right. a surprise that they coming down to do it because that's what they see their mom and daddy do. Right. So that that literally is their environment. So and, and they enjoy it, but they they are competitive too. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, that's, that's <laughs> oh, they are truly competitive. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, like they are absolutely, like you know, like when. If, like if one of one of the other loses, you know, it's it's gonna be like some time before everything get right. It's got they gotta calm down for about a good fifteen minutes or so. But that that also helps in um them gaining a strong mentality too, you know. Because you're not gonna win every time. And but they have to have a positive outlook, you yeah, know. Yeah. Somebody gonna win, but it's okay because even if you try, yeah. you know, that's what we used to tell our preschoolers. Yeah. If you had fun, you won. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, whether you lost or not, we just say, if you had fun, you won. That's and true. so and when we was teaching them that they didn't get mad, you yeah. know, because the object was for them to have fun. So yeah. even if you had a winner, but if you had fun, you still a winner too. Yeah, you, you exactly. yeah. yeah. I mean, it yeah. is. And, and, we, and we, I teach them that and also teach them that, you know, and this is like any kids in our program and our mentorship program or everything, you know, like we just teach them that, you know, like, if you didn't like the fact that you win, that's okay, and you can be emotional about it, you know, and you get rid of that emotion, but you can't stay there, you know? Right. And, 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 and if you can't, if you if you stay there, then that's nothing's ever going to change, but we allow everybody, all the, I mean, I say everybody, like, it's only, only four of us in the house, but, <laughs> but we allow, like, everybody in our house is understood that you're responsible for your own energy. And, you're right. And like, so... So tell people how, you know, in the surrounding areas or whatever, how they can become a part of your um, mentoring um, organization. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you just got to go to um, www.onmygeniusomgcampaign.org uh, www and um, you can register to be a mentor or register to be a mentee. Um, you can register uh, to. Um, you can register to do. Uh, it's got a whole list of things that you, if you're involved in. But right now, the main thing we're going is, um, which we're seeing has been working best through the pandemic, especially just one-on-one -on -one mentorship. 
Um, so they can okay. go there and get that. We'll call you. Uh, we'll have a conference with you and um, your kid. And this is not um, have to be just like in our surrounding areas. You can be anywhere because we do it. Do right, do it. right. And it's been working really well. So um, though, and we do a lot of different things. We have a book club um, uh, that we started. Frederick Douglass is the first topic of that, and uh, that's going really well. Uh, so wow. the book club is just is it all young men or yeah, it's, all, it's, all, it's all young men um so right how now. do they handle because most of the time what i found in education young boys don't like to read they oh, no, they no, they, no, they, they, they shy not. away so how how did <clears throat> excuse me how did you get them to get involved with the reading okay well i mean really i just um what well i mean i just put it out to on, you know, on Facebook and, and friends that I knew and stuff to see if they wanted to have their sons come in and, you know, and just right, kind of, right. so, but the the biggest thing was um, when they, they get in, you know, and it's not about actually, and because as a, as a young person, especially, you know, from 12 to 17, 18 years old, mm -hmm. like, it's become like not our culture to want to read, you know, so exactly. I, I, exactly. And myself and myself included, you know, so mm -hmm. I, one, I say, you know, well, we can't keep saying that they don't like to read when we haven't created the environment of yeah. reading that promotes reading. Mm -hmm. So, like, we all, I never look out. I always try to look within. What can I do to help right. to remedy this issue? Right. Because we got to start somewhere, and it don't have somewhere. to be massive, you know? Um, and uh, and uh, what I did was I just... Uh, You went mute again. Yeah. yeah All right. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody had called me. I didn't put my phone on airplane mode. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but uh, but I wanted to um be able to uh, to um, what was that? Oh, oh yeah. So we wanted to be able to just get them in, you know, engage them. Right. So it's not even so much about the reading; it's the subject matter that brings together the 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 conversation, right? Um, right, and just like right. in class, like I went, I went through all of college, and I don't think I read an entire book, cover to cover, right. you know. But I still got a lot of information, and right. uh, and and like so, it's it's kind of like it, they they get to it's the environment that's there. We got four or five grown uh, uh grown men of all ages in the forties and in the twenties, so they wow. can see two different dimensions of men discussing topics and. And, and, and even the 20 somethings learning a lot, you know? So like That's we amazing. have to pour down and step down into those, you know, like be able to mm -hmm. pour into. And, and and like I said, we got to stop worrying about if it's, you know, the biggest thing in the world is notoriety. Like if you're impacting one, you've changed the world, you've changed the universe because exactly. that person's going to vibrate exactly. differently. Um, yes. And yes. Uh, so that's that's why we do things. And they actually really engage in it, which is like, you know, really like you know and and, and it's, it's not surprising but it was fulfilling to see simply because of the fact that we have not taught them or poured into them like we should mm -hmm. and i, I right. take all, all um responsibility of, of my generation to yeah. to not making that a mainstream because we're running things now right right so how did what sacrifices did you have to make or was there any sacrifices you had to make when you decided to become an entrepreneur well i mean it, there's levels to it there's levels to it um you have to, if you want to be an entrepreneur you have to be and i mean and as far as like spiritual like to be in that space you can't like just like do it i want to do it over here you know because you're not going to be able to get understand everything, all the ins and outs of what it is, right? Um, and um, but like sacrificing my my everything, you know, like like I wanted to be that, so right. So I had to be that, including with my family, so I could be able exactly. to operate those things. So it's got to be a hundred percent commitment at all times. Mm -hmm. There'll be time. I mean, it it was times when I met, when I you know first started. I was like, man, did I do did, did I do the right thing by leaving my job? Because I mean, I've been out right, right. five years now. You know, like it's when I quit my job, and um, like it's it's one of those things where you have to be able to um, what's the word uh, you got to be able to to um, not listen to a lot of people, but also take mm -hmm. in everything too. You know. So, 
and, and not to be attached emotionally to what people right. say. So you can, and it gives right. you, it gives you a thicker skin because you know, I mean, a lot, like you start out, you know, you're gonna be on, you're gonna be by yourself. And if anybody's starting out, yeah. like yeah. understand this, like if you have a business, a business, like get comfortable by yourself because yeah. it's your that's business, how I, when you know? I started shape, I yeah. people left, and you yeah. know what? And at first it kind of discouraged me, but yeah. then I was like. I know what I'm supposed to be doing and I and that's why I stayed of course and that's why yep. you know I I did it and you know when I got finally got that um 501c3 mm -hmm. it was worth it it was worth staying up late at night trying to figure mm -hmm. out how can I best serve these young ladies mm -hmm. because you, these parents are entrusting us with their children yeah exactly and you and that's why everything I do I always make sure I am right not that I'm perfect or real perfect, but I make sure that I don't do stuff out of order that's yeah. going to cause me to damage them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, that's, yeah. that's what it's all about. It's just really trying to find ways. Uh, my, my biggest thing was finding ways to uh, serve, um, find ways to serve the best the way that, that, you know, in the direction that I'm going, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, and like, once you do that, you're able to kind of, you it takes while it's going like bumps in the road things gonna happen like they all exactly. they still happen now you know and they will they're gonna continue to happen but through that time you're steadily increasing steadily evolving and, and you gotta understand really like like i said it's your vision so you have to take control of that vision <laughs> right. and it's not anybody else like nope. you can't rely on people and if people because people gonna come through for you they're not gonna come through for you you know but you gotta you understand can, that from yeah. the beginning you know and once you do, like everything kind of attracts to you at that point. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. stay the course always. Believe in why yeah, you started. That's, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, that's that. <laughs> so do you have other business partners besides Mark? Um I don't have any other business partners besides Mark. No, I don't think so. Just you and Mark and your Mark does John, does a lot with you. I mean, yeah, me and John, we, me and John, um, we the P one uh well, he helps he's a part of the um uh p1 music deal so yeah. we have a um we have a, a partnership him where um now he's as a 23 year old is really learning the ins and outs of business side of music um together because i mean i kind of learned it that learning that with him too also but we're able yeah. to uh you know kind of flow off each other and He's really deep into that space, like really deep. So it's a good. He's thing. grown. He oh, is grown cool. since the fashion show. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He, he, he's yeah. Really deep into it. And uh, he, I mean, he has. I mean, he he's so versatile in what he can do as far as that. So I just like to try and be whatever type kind of example I can, and to you know pour into whatever that he his goals are and his opportunities are, because it's really you know. It's still like a mentorship, but not because he's a man too, you know. And, and like, right, right, right. Yeah. I, I take opportunities though to, you know, I think being around him and being around other young people that keeps you young and feeling young and all those cool things. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, what has been the most challenging thing for you being an entrepreneur? Um, I guess it's kind of like the gift and the curse because you want to be an entrepreneur, but like, you know, your time is taken away but i can't even say it's really challenged it's more of a just a navigation um that um i hadn't figured out yet you know so on certain things but um man challenging thing challenging that's a good word though challenging most challenging thing is probably um organization you have so many things going on and right. uh and, and that but that kind of really made me slow down so i can make sure i organize um like just not i ain't talking about like organizing like the products that you were organizing like just like my desk right right now like my desk is is like everywhere you know and like <laughs> i never would get that so my wife like she keeps me in that space but she's not going it's not she's not going to take all that space she's like I could, i'll do it right like, right like, you know, but um yeah it's like that that because if i were i think if i were more organized and i'm you know speaking this out anyway so i must i'm gonna uh, manifest this I, I would definitely um be a lot more uh functional because like i i booked the you today and then i have my own podcast 
today too. Which oh. I don't you know, so like but so, so we don't, I'm gonna be wrapping it up. But so <clears throat> I just wanna say just being your family, like yeah, it's amazing how you know, because we I'm not gonna say disconnect, but like I moved away, you know, with my mom, you know, mm-hmm. and her um like husband and stuff. But it's amazing how me, you and Dion, we all kind of like went the same path. Yeah. and didn't even know we went the same path mm-hmm. and but one thing i want to say about you i i love your dedication love and you can see your dedication because you're always posting you're always posting something about your organization or whatever you have going on and that's and that's what i like um and so for me that's what i get from you like oh. just watching you stay motivated watching you because sometimes like you said it can get discouraged mm-hmm. it can and like for me, you know, and I was telling Lynette, I have to have a different mindset because you know JT was my number one. Oh, yeah. He was our yeah. number one supporter. Oh yeah. They, you know, they, JT, they you know, he yeah, he was he was just that he was just that man. Yeah. You know. And yeah. so that's the hardest thing that I am that's a challenge for me is to stay focused and continue to do what I'm doing because I always hear in the back of my head, don't start something and you don't finish. Yep, yep. And you, you know, and he told my girlfriend that, you know, even yeah, and even when he was dying, you know, he was telling them he was like, you know, and Lynette said he told her he was like, I just want my wife to finish whatever she starts. And so that's why I stay doing what I'm doing, stand on the path, stand focused, because you know what? Now my friends are my support system. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And when I do different stuff like this fashion show, this is the very first fashion show that JT's never been at. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Dion came in and he was like, oh man, what I would give just to have JT here right, right now. Right. And then I was like, I was like, oh my God. And you know, and so it was just rough because, you know, he's not seeing these, you know, these milestones that I'm making now, yeah. you know, and so I have to keep myself in the right frame of mind that, hey, people are going to come, people are going to go, yeah. but if this is what I'm destined to do, I have to push even in the pain. Yeah. You see well, what I mean? Well, well, he's still seeing it, though, you know, like, I truly believe that. Yeah, he so, is, he is, and, you know, he's probably it, shaking his head, he's probably like, she okay. got it. She yeah, got totally. it, you know what I'm saying? But certain yeah. times, you know, when I do events and stuff, it's hard because, like I said, he, he was there. He was my right-hand man, you know, pushing mm-hmm. me. And so, and I know he's still pushing me in his own way. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm staying the course. I'm not going to give up. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and I just thank you for just being who you are and never change. You you never change. You, well, thank you. Just I appreciate it. I take, I, take pride, I take pride in consistency. I think yeah, and kids, and you know, and when kids, when they say that, they was just like, she didn't want to do the fashion show because you won't there. And I was just like, <laughs> wow, like, that, oh, I mean, man. because grown ups ain't going to say they ain't going to do no fashion show because the designer's not there. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, know what I'm saying? Grown ups are going to be like, no, I'm going to rock this out. I don't care if he's here. I'm going to represent him. But when you have kids yeah. that know your work already. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's powerful. Thanks thing. Be that's powerful thing. That, that's powerful. That I mean, because yeah. Melissa was like, she did not want to do it. Say she was mad because you weren't there. <laughs> and I mean, I'm like, that speaks volume because you're doing exactly what you started out to do. Yeah. Even yeah. when you left corporate and yeah. all the stuff you had to endure. Mm-hmm. When a kid can say, I don't want to be there because Mr. Lee ain't there. Yeah. That's, 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 that's priceless. That's priceless stuff right you, there. You 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 can't you can't I mean there's nothing else to be said. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you would have been so proud of them. They rocked it out. They really oh, rocked, rocked it out. I'm and you know, and when I told the parents, they was like, We're gonna look him up. I was like, right. Yeah, I wish if we would have been thinking you could have put some cars in there, but okay, we weren't thinking. You know, I sit there and thought about that when I didn't even, I didn't even think about doing it. I should have did that. I mean I thought about like right at the end when I was coming, I was like, Well, I can't do it now. But you know, yeah, definitely, definitely. I appreciate you and Lynetta said positive positive point is a dope brand. And she said he already seen it in you. Yeah, Lynetta and JT did. He seen it in us. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate But that. you I mean, and so my last question um okay. of the day, if you had to give one piece of advice to someone who's just starting out, what would it be? We're just starting out like entrepreneurship or? just like entrepreneurship um allow learn to allow things to happen you know like 
that's because you know you know like thing i i guess i guess i can give an example um the um i guess i'll give a quote you know so that's typical right um let's see <laughs> <laughs> the clouds can't blot out the sun you know so the clouds are are simply like just the problems and emotions that go over but the sun is always there right so like as long as you know what you felt when you started what you was doing like stay connected to that because the sun is there and it, it might not look like it's there it might be go days and days and weeks or cloudy days you know what i'm saying but because right, you right. can able to wait out that storm and keep pushing and just do what you got to do to make it keep going like it, it'll work like it, it can't not work because you're in, that's what your intentions are and uh and and with that i would say you know set set your intentions be specific with what your intentions mm -hmm. are and once you are specific with your intention it will manifest like it will you will it yeah. will well i love you cuz um right, i know you don't see my post about the fashion show doing the uh, fashion time. Yep, yep. you know positive one have to be in the oh, house yeah. um you know and it's just so amazing you know when you stay the course people see what you're doing Mm -hmm. People, yeah. even when we don't think people sing, people yeah. see what we're doing. And yeah. like I said, keep doing you, keep being you, and just, just stay true to who you are. And that's right. one thing I really love about you. Love being your family because you like me. I'm stay true to who I am. Yep, stay real. What you see is what you get. That's it. That's it. Like, look. <laughs> Right where we're not, we still cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's it. That's it. But I just want to say thank you for taking up the time to come and be on Hot Topic with Donna. What uh, she said, Lynetta said, my phone went dead. Hope I didn't miss pancakes. <laughs> 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 she said if i did she said just want to tell me something that the highlight of my day love it good job all right that's hey, awesome Nelly, <laughs> tell me what you got to tell me with your uh, pancake day so we... <laughs> <laughs> i told you that pancake day is yeah. is is it's like it's awesome it is yeah. so awesome yeah. but have you ever thought i just had this idea yeah. so it's a guy i can't think of his name desmond um I don't know. He he does. He's a young black guy, mm -hmm. and he does nursery rhymes to okay. like hip hop yeah. and kind of like a jazz type. Yeah. I mean, yeah. have you ever thought about just doing that? Because I can see you doing something like that. Yeah. Well, me and the kids, the, the kids definitely want to do another a song. They want to do a little album of their own. So like, that's definitely something that's that's kind of we uh, working with right now. Right now, just like right now, uh, like that's that's kind of like in the beginning stages actually. So I, I I figure it'll probably be around by the beginning of next year. Or so right, well, hey, right now, I love your album up. that you had out. Huh? I said I like your album that you had. So tell me what you think about my intro song. That's what my son did, Cedric. Oh yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. it yeah, he he cool. wrote it and did the music and everything. Yes. Yeah, it was, it, I loved it. It was dope. Like it was actually really really dope. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, like because I was ready. It got me ready when I was listening because I was on the other side of the line. I guess I was like, all right. And I was like, I, I, got know, someone, he, I got someone with the heat. I, it's a lot of expectations in that, that <laughs> intro. <laughs> I tell you what, you know it's a hot song when your grandkids, like, when he, he made it for me, he had yeah. said, Mama, he was like, um, I got something hot. I got something yeah. hot. I was like, okay. And okay. so he was like, my grandkids want to listen to it on the way to church. I was like, well, you know it's got to be a hit when your grandkids, like, <laughs> Daddy, put on Gigi's song. You know what I'm saying? Song, but, right? I mean, yeah, but I mean, I told him, I said, I need some. I want to be different. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, we have to be different. I can't be like everybody yeah. else, and I don't try to. But yeah. like yeah. I said, maybe you and him can collaborate one day. He oh, um, yeah. He's still working on his album. Okay. Um, But like I said, you know, the fashion show is coming up, and I'm telling you what, I think it's going to be bigger this year because you know everybody didn't really think it was going to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They waited to after the fact to be like, Oh well, I want to be in it. Hey, you missed out because our kids rocked it out. Yeah, they did. They did. They rocked it out. No practice, just ran through it, and we just and it just unfold right before our eyes. And yep. they, the self esteem, just to see how the kids just just came out when they were shy. Even some of my girls mm -hmm. in shape, how never been in a gown, but just because I said mm -hmm. you you gonna do it, you can be yep. beautiful, and they rose to the occasion with confidence. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, the, yeah. that's, that's the true impact that, you know, we have to start really seeing 
in, in, in our world. Like, see, like, it doesn't look like boom, bang, bow. You know what I'm saying? It looks like right. day-to-day -day actions and evolution of just, just it's experiencing things, you know? And, like, you, yeah. that's the biggest thing. You get the most out of experience. I learned a lot of things, but the experience has told me the most that I've ever had in my life, yes. you know? So, yeah, yeah. And I believe in we can't get too high that we can't reach back and grab somebody. Oh, I mean, like, well, we don't have to even get high. We just need to be able to just keep, get move together. Like, you know, yeah, like, you're right. that's pretty much it. You know I mean? Like, it's not like you have, you, people do obviously you lose themselves in spaces, but I mean, like once you reconnect, you just need to reconnect and you know, it's not even about getting high. Just understanding like, yo, this is what we are. We're all humans here. And you know, these tech, these labels, titles and stuff don't mean anything. Like, cause they don't, like, they they, don't. what means something is, is, you know, who you are, how you treat people and you know, and that's what people are remember. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's, that's what I think my Angelo said that. I don't remember. People don't remember how much money you had. They remember how you treated them, you know? How you treat them. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Well, like I said, we're going to have to link up again. Uh, right. I mean, because we just have to just expand, do something in the yeah. community, because I know you do a lot in the community. I mean, COVID's not going nowhere, but we're going to have to still just keep it moving and be safe Move. as much as we can. Yep. But yep. Um, I just love you. I thank you so much. Um, tell the kids. We look forward to their pancake day. <laughs> Everybody looking forward to that pancake day. But I will tell you what Lynetta say. She said, yes, researching back is so vital. The world is big enough for us all to come up. You're absolutely right, yeah. Lynetta. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. But I'm gonna tell you what, we we was rocking your brand though. We were. We thought we was hot. Right. Cause we, was the, we was the only we was the only adults in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. That's the leaders. We was all the ducks in there. So me and Manetta was like, yes, we got it. And it was so cool because when we went out, we let the guy um, that had the king shirt walk out right in front of us. Yeah. And then her and her linked arms and walked out. And he was like, he was just walking down. He was cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it, I mean, like, it was just awesome, though. But like yeah. I said, Thank you. I love you. I love your new line, Evolved. I love it. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm going to have to talk to you because I need to start getting my shirts made myself because JT bought me a cricket machine and uh -huh. you know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what that is. Man. It's still yeah. sick. I mean, he bought it like six months before he passed away. Oh, and the only thing I've done probably in the last month was plug it up, <laughs> open it up, to see if it works. Hey. hey. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be built for t-shirts. You gotta be built for that. That's kind of thing that you gotta like. Do. Yeah, and so I know I gotta get started because you know he always had a purpose. He was like, "You go, I'm, you gonna do your um shape. I'm gonna do these t-shirts for you." Yeah. And I gotta get it done. I mean, it, yeah. it's just it's just lazy. It's just yeah. lazy. I just yeah, like, get it done. It'll come right time. Yeah, it will. It will. But um, but like I said, I know you gotta go. But I love okay. you. I love you. I love you. Um, Thank you too. And um, we're looking forward to next Sunday's. Pancake Day. All right, we'll see y'all. Nana, you're going to watch Pancake Day. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bye, Chris. Love you. Bye.